hello student welcome to make study official youtube channel i hope your preparation is going good i have received a few comments related to the preparation strategy of nmdc as you are aware of that nmdc has already released the notification for the junior officer examinations for 2020-2022 so this examination is also happening last year and apart from that 2018 and 16 they has already conduct these examinations based on the paper analysis i have also taken taken out the paper what was the question they have asked and what was the slivers of that particular examination all these things we will continue discuss in the same video so in 2018 what was the exam pattern they have asked three sections first section was subject knowledge like if you belonging to mechanical the question asked was mechanical similarly for the electrical if you belonging in electrical domain and for other branches as well similarly like that so for the subject knowledge they have asked around 30 marks similarly for the general knowledge they have asked about 50 marks and for the numerical ability and reasoning was 20 marks each section that question that we have asked a number of equal to the marks that particular questions like for the 30 uh, question asked for the subject knowledge or mechanical domain then the marks for that particular th question was 30 based on that they will total question was 100 questions for 100 marks and the time duration was 2 hours as you are aware of that i have already explained these things in advertisement as well so going ahead with the official syllabus which they have released the little bit question about the syllabus is that the syllabus is too vast because the syllabus which they have released officially it's about 13 pages and the syllabus is also unnecessary things is added in it which is not related to core mechanical discipline so i have request to those student who is preparing for the psc examination please do not prepare the topic which is not related to your examinations like few of the other topic is also there which is not related to any psc examination because few of the psc examination is also coming in the next few months like uh, if you go with the midhani if you go with the hcl then the syllabus of these examination is completely different with this level which is provided by nmdc so i have a request to all the student who is preparing for the nmdc make sure that you do not prepare unnecessary topic which is not related to any upcoming examination because it's take a uh, lots of time and question which they have asked as per the 2018 question was only 30 and syllabus is too vast few of the also comment which i have received from the feedback but i am not sure about that that's why i'll inform you in advance like a few of the questions related to the domain they have mentioned like 50 question in domain knowledge after that uh, 20 question for the general awareness 10 question for the general ability 10 question for the english and 10 question for the numerical aptitude so like that paper pattern is also coming total and if this type of situation is happening then again 50 questions for the technical and non 50 question for non technical portion so you need to make sure balance all those topics which is related to your domain and which is related to your non technical background so make sure that you need to balance it and i have request to all the student those who have already study with the gate examination please revise those topic and do not uh, unnecessary go with the studying and unnecessary topic which is not coming in other examinations so like mechan uh, mechanism and machines like the theory of machine they have mentioned almost all the module so if you go ahead with the cad and computer graphics they have mentioned a lots of topic over here as well these pdfs i have taken from the official website which is uh, published in 2020 2021 similarly nmdc has also recruited for that uh, last year based on that the syllabus i have taken uh, in the difference is that the for the junior technical officer initially they will only recruit for the uh, diploma engineers having at least 3 to 5 years of experience but now this year they have started recruiting for the engineering candidate but there is no requirement a specific experience requirement for the engineering but for the diploma they have a requirement of experience so going ahead with the next topic like engineering workshop they have mentioned a lots of module like six module over there as well going ahead with the design machine element that is machine design they have also mentioned four modules you need to study because syllabus is almost similar for this topic is exactly gate examinations so going ahead with the next topic like primary manufacturing and they have mentioned like there are different modules in there in that if you go ahead with the casting which is related to a gate examination related to forming related to the welding all these are related to your specifically gate examination along with the esc examination so if you have prepared well then do not worry about it easily you can appear this examinations similarly go ahead with the fluid mechanics they have mentioned few modules like fluid kinematic dynamics basic uh, concepts incompressible fluid dorsi wave back equations uh, hydraulic turbines hydraulic pumps and lots of topic inside it so you need to study about these things 
again going ahead with the heat transfer this is also the standard uh, uh, like syllabus which is related to your gate examination if you have already studied don't worry do not learn unnecessary thing which is not related to the examination like that which i have mentioned like these topics are never coming any of the examinations like control engineering still they have mentioned over here it's related to your engineering degree but not related to any competitive examination because a little bit is related with the electrical domain that's why they have added over here as well that's why i have requested to do not worry about the unnecessary topic which is not related to uh, like a huge weightage for this particular examinations so make sure that you need to balance both these along with the other examination as well similarly go ahead with the manufacturing with the integrated design they have mentioned few of the modules if you have a time go ahead still you can skip it at all similarly for the machine tool and machining they have also mentioned like basic machining uh, machining of the gate slabs they have mentioned over here as well and if you study with that then for the first two will be as in grinding in uh, non and other uh, basic concepts is also there in ESC along with the gate portion so it's sufficient for this examination similarly for the metrology it's also available over there along with this examination going ahead with the computer aided manufacturing it's also there over uh, in a gate along with the esc examinations this is a standard examination which is coming almost all the engineering domains going ahead with the ic engine and refrigeration it's also sufficient do not uh, read unnecessary theory which is related in this particular examinations and going ahead with the next topic like refrigeration it's also a little bit important be pointed because a few of the standard question like numerical in one liner question is also coming like calculate the cop what was the efficiency and what was the uh, particular cycle and what was you can calculate the cop of that particular cycle they have mentioned some theoretical cycle so you have idea about that and uh, for the air conditioning they have mentioned few of the theoretical questions and so if you have idea then easily you can attempt these types of questions going ahead with the power plant engineering study only for the gate examination not unnecessary thing like if you have study with the esc examination a uh, theoretical portion which is coming in this examination as well going ahead with the environmental pollution and evident it's a, a little bit different topic which is not related to your uh, gate examination so i can suggest you can skip this topics for the vibration you have studied but for the noise control you do not have any such topics in your uh, like gate examination it's related in your degree engineering mechanical degree mechanical engineering degree, but not in a, any competitive examination similarly for this this is not related to your any competitive examination but they have mentioned over here so you can study only for the advanced engineering thermodynamic which you are aware of that basic thermodynamics along with advanced is all the application of your thermodynamic thermodynamic which is coming in gate examination other than that they have also mentioned few these topics like tribology it's in not required at all so going ahead with the next topic like turbo machinery which they have mentioned over here if you have a time i think you have all aware of that basic uh, turbo machinery which is coming in gate examination you can study only that part for the welding technology they will provide a detailed discussion over there but you cannot study these topics in your uh, like gate examination in gate you can study only for those topics related to your numerical but they have mentioned few detailed topic if you have already study manufacturing well then do not worry about these topics easy going ahead with the automobile engineering it's a part of ic engine but uh, you cannot say anything about these topics because these are the random topics which they have added in this portion similarly for the quality assurance and reliability it's uh, related to the esc like general awareness but if you have study then well and good else you can skip it similarly for this uh, portion as well mechanical handling and system equipment you can also skip these topics which is not necessary for this examinations Elasticity and plasticity is related to your strength of material. You can study only those part and theory of failure and other related to that. Do not read unnecessary things because the portion which they have mentioned is a vast portion. You cannot study all these things within a few months. You need to study take more than one and a half year to study all those topics which they have mentioned in the syllabus. Similarly, for the technology of surface coating, do not required if you have study with the material science. That's all. mechatronics if you have a time you can study and go through your degree notes which they have mentioned in your college else you can skip it and uh, again going ahead with the theory of combustion in emissions a part of ic engine if you have study with the esc portion it's sufficient do not read unnecessary part in it robotics is related to your mechatronics which is also study in your degree college if you have study then well and good otherwise skip it at the end they have mentioned one note like the above syllabus is indicative not exhaust like they have mentioned these are the sample syllabus these are the syllabus but you can not assure that all these question is coming in this particular syllabus so i think you are understand what i need to say <laughs>
so make sure that you need to balance other examination along with these examinations so i have already dis discussed detailed syllabus of nmdc examination so i need to move with the question paper what they have asked in the 2018 so these are the question which is asked for the mechanical domain specifically and i have taken these paper from the internet if you want you can also download this paper from our official telegram channel you can just ping over there and i'll share this pdf to you so the question which they have asked like most of the question are theoretical question and mostly they will ask related to your degree portion not for the specifically got grade portion if you study with the psu exam paper and uh, solve all those co question paper then it's a little bit easy for you to clear these examinations so for the first question which they have mentioned a piston of a diesel engine are usually cooled by option a air water lubricating oil and fuel oil so if you have studied in lubricating oil is the right answer and you can also aware of these things in your degree along with the gate portions when a hydrocarbon fuel burns in excess of a or certain acidity of a product of combustion will show co co2 and no2 this is the i think you all are aware of these types of questions similarly they have uh, marked most of the question are theoretical because i have already gone through all these papers and at then they have uh, uh, asked total i think 30 question which they have asked in the portion in 2018 but uh, now this year they might ask 50 question 50 question because few of the student had also said the feedback like uh, they have uh, planning to ask around 50 questions for the technical again 20 question for general knowledge and english 10 questions and 10 question for your reasoning and 10 question for the numerical aptitude like that they will try to ask if you uh, if you they have asked in this pattern then you also aware of these topics which i have explained over here so i hope this video are informative and helpful for you because uh, i have received uh, more than 10 comments from student please prepare a so a strategy video on nmdc so at the end i i think this video are informative and if you think then do like and share with your friends and subscribe this channel and if you want to download this video you can easily join our telegram channel the link of telegram channel is given in the description box so thanks for watching